So while Google kills contracts that help our nation's defenses, opting instead to help China's AI, Amazon puts America first. Despite getting flack from sheltered employees who think national security is for losers, CEO Jeff Bezos sticks to his guns. Here he is at a conference on Monday. We are going to continue to support the DOD, and I think we should. I'm, you know, I, it doesn't make any sense to me. Sometimes one of the jobs of a senior leadership team is to make the right decision, even when it's unpopular. And if, if big tech companies are going to turn their back on the U.S. Department of Defense, this country is going to be in trouble. Good for him. Now compare that common sense to Google's virtue signaling cowardice. First, Google suspended its contracts with our military when some workers whined about it. Then they helped China create a search engine that censors criticisms of its leaders, which suits Google since they'll remove anything that upsets them. Ask James Damore. Apparently, this tech titan thinks it's more evolved than the country it exploits. Defense is so yesterday. Security is for fascists. Plus, they're terrified of the activists in the company cafeteria. Google ignores their heroic predecessors like Ford and Douglas Aircraft or tech geniuses Alan Turing and Norbert Wiener. Turing helped invent modern computing, but also broke secret codes to beat the Nazis. Mathematician Norbert calculated rocket trajectories during the same war. Even movie stars like Hedy Lamarr helped out. She came up with a guidance system for American torpedoes. Top that, Taylor Swift. These people didn't care about PR. They cared about a country's survival, but not Google. They may be the greatest search engine on Earth, but the one thing they'll never find is a spine. <laughs>